Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working with the Paper Pumpkin. This is the 10 Years of Growth March 2023 Paper Pumpkin Kit from Stampin' Up! Okay? And before we get into this lovely box, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. Oh, I see a little stone here from another project. So we have the All the Little Things Paper Pumpkin Kit for April. This kit is going to make nine cards and the stamping spot is going to be shaded spruce and you're going to get a free box organizer included in this kit. So there's a link in the description box below for you to sign up to um, subscribe to the Paper Pumpkin and you have until the 10th of April to sign up to get this particular kit. Next up, we have our host code special from Honeybee Stamping Hive only. When you place an order of $100 or more and you use this host code, I will be sending you one of my mystery boxes for free filled with $200 or more of new and used retired Stampin' Up! products, okay? And again, this is only from Honeybee Stampin' Hive. And if your order is $150 or more, do not use this host code because you'll qualify for Stampin' Rewards. And Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stampin' Up! And I don't want you to miss out on that, but you'll still qualify to get a free mystery box, okay? That is all the buzzworthy business we have for today. So let's go ahead and open up this paper pumpkin kit. Oh yes. I forgot this is the 10 year anniversary kit. So we get a free stamp set. So we have two stamp sets in this one. Make sure you can see this. So this one says anniversary Easter spring to call you friend and happy. So happy to call you friend, happy anniversary, happy Easter, happy spring. Then it has a little pot and some greenery. This one looks like it has flowers and then dots. Okay. And then on this one, it says, to a wonderful mother, here's to another year of growth. That's cute. Birthday to an incredible woman, sending all our love. Mother's Day, you deserve the best. And then this little greenery. Stampin' Spot, polished pink. So let's get into this just talking about the um how to make a what is this i guess a alternate card and then talking about next month's kit Ooh, look at this fancy paper in here gold tissue paper <laughs> you don't want to tear that let's be careful to get this out okay this is some nice paper i wasn't expecting gold Okay, so let's see. Let's get our scissors here and get into this. So we see our envelopes match our box. And this is what we're going to be making. Ooh, it looks cute. Okay, this is all of our stuff. So here's our instruction sheet. 10 years of growth paper pumpkin kit. Oh, the cards look cute. Okay, let's see. We have coordinating colors of Coastal Cabana, Crumb Cake, Fresh Freesia, Garden Green, Orchid Oasis, Polished Pink, Shaded Spruce, and Gold Foil. Wow. So this is everything that we're going to have in our kit right here. So let's go ahead and get things to going so we have our glue dots and what are these dimensionals <laughs> oh goodness let's check out these envelopes and see that they are not decorated on the inside so the only decoration is on the flap on the outside okay so i don't know if you want to make alternates with that because you can't do anything with the rest of the envelope so here's our car bases. Let's make some space so we can start putting this stuff out. Ooh. So here's one of our car bases. Isn't that cute? So we're going to be making three of each one. You have enough supplies to make three. 
of each design. This is super cute. Oh, look at this. Aren't those pretty? And they're white, so you can write on the inside. So then we have um, our, what are these called? Sentiment labels. Oh my gosh, I cannot think right now. So look, this is like a little banner. And this one, then we have just a, that one has like angled ends. This one is just a rectangle. Oh, I'm bending them up. We don't want that. Then we have this, looks like a pot. It has little texture on there. Can you see that? It's like embossed. Oh, that's cute. Then we have a bigger one here. It's embossed. That's super cute. I'm just assuming we need one of everything. Oh, look at this big little die cut. Big little. <laughs> okay. So then... We have, doo -doo -doo -doo. how many of these? Should be three. Yeah, three of these. So we're going to need some elements from here. Then we have a little sheet with this um, greenery. Then some gold happy. Okay, I'm going to pop all this stuff out because it's a lot. And then I'm going to come back. So now I have everything separated. So we're going to go ahead and put these cards together. So we're going to start with card number one. And we are going to put, well, I guess I should show you all the pieces we need. So this is all the pieces that we need. I believe I got everything for this card. Okay. And we're going to start by putting glue dots on the back of all of our greenery and our little pot here. So these all get glue dots. So let's go ahead and put those on. And I'm probably going to speed this up because it's going to take a while to put these glue dots. Okay, so that's all the glue dots for that one. And we're going to get our classic stamping pad for the polished pink. And we're going to stamp on our little label here. You deserve the best. That is the way Cricut looks like. No, let's see. Let's see if we can do better on the back. <laughs> okay, it, it's about the same. So let's go ahead and close this up. Move it to the side for our next card. And we're going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back side. I think I like this one better. Yeah. So we are going to put three dimensionals on this. These are the mini dimensionals. And then we're gonna add everything to our card. So let's go ahead and fold this on our score line, get our bone folder and burnish that down. And then we're going to add all of our foliage. So we're gonna take off these glue dots, the backings rather. These are some tiny glue dots. 
So we're gonna add this about right here, like that. Oh, let's get this one. I'm trying to see how they put it on, but I guess it doesn't really matter as long as you get it on there. And take the glue dots off of this one. And put it going straight up. Then we're going to get our pot here. And put that over. All of this sitting like it's sitting on the shelf. Just like that. Then we're going to take our sentiment. Here we go with all the backings everywhere. <laughs> we're going to take our sentiment and we're going to add it right here like this. Isn't that cute? That's the first card. Let's move on to card number two. Okay, so this is card number two. And we're going to do the same. We're going to add glue dots on the back of all of our um pieces. So... Again, here's all the pieces that we need for this one. Let's move that out of the way. Okay. So those are all the pieces. And on this one, we're going to stamp to an incredible woman. So let's go ahead and get our ink back out. Ink up our sentiment here. Oh, that didn't come out very well. Let's try again on the back. Don't you love how paper has two sides? <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now we're going to put our adhesive on the back of everything and be right back again. Okay. So I have everything it, um, all adhesived up. We're going to take our card base, fold it, and burnish it with our bone folder. Then we're going to add all of our elements. So, we're going to start again with all of the greenery. So, I've already gone ahead and taken the, the glue dots off. So, we're going to, the backings off. We're going to add this. Then we're going to add this one. Get this glue dot off of there. Let's put this one like way over there. Then we'll add this one right up the middle again, just like on the other one. We're gonna add our big pot and it's gonna sit. Oh, there's something connected. I was like, what is that? I'm gonna add that right there. Then we're gonna take this little Okay, so we're going to take this little pot and sit it right next to the big one. And we're going to take this. And I think it goes this way, maybe. Let me see how this goes first. Yeah, like this. So we're going to take that and just sit it over. Makes it look like it's in the pot and coming out. That's cute. Then we're going to take our sentiment. Remove the backings from our dimensional. And we're going to put this right up here. Don't you like how everything has the little gold in it? The leaves and all that has gold in it. That's cute. Okay. Now we'll be back for card number three. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and get this one done. So let's get our ink back out. And we're going to stamp birthday on this little bitty banner. So this small one. We're going to stamp birthday. Let's see, should we do it right in the middle? Yes. Just like that. Not quite in the middle, but it's there. So... We're going to add dimensionals to the back of this large piece here. So we're going to put six dimensionals, one in each corner. 
the one in the middle at the top and bottom. Okay, and everything else. Oh no, this gets dimensionals too. So we're gonna add dimensionals to our sentiment here. I'll do three. Everything else is gonna get glue dots. So we take our happy and put some glue dots on that. Let's see. I'm gonna put one up there, one down here, all the places. I have this <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> but we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay, so that we have that. In our pot here, we're going to put four glue dots on the back of this one. Okay, then all of our greenery here. We're going to put some glue dots all over. So let's put some here. Uh-oh. Didn't pick that up, did I? Trying to put them where there's a lot of space for it. Okay. And I don't think this needs glue dots, but uh it's not showing that they do, but I think I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put um a glue dot on just one just to make sure. Okay. So what we're going to do, this card is going to get folded and burnished, and it's going to be a landscape. So we're going to take our big banner here. Remove the backings, and we're going to add these coming up. From the top up here, then this one is going to be coming down from the bottom like that. Oop, I guess I should get it on there. And we're going to remove that one little glue dot. And then we're just going to place this in the middle. Well, not quite in the middle, more towards the bottom of the card, but in the center left and right, but more towards the bottom up and down. Okay. I didn't center it very well, but that's okay. Okay. So we have that. Now we are going to add our little greenery here. This one. I guess I need to take the glue dots off though, don't I? That would help take the backings off so that we can adhere it. Because it won't work if it's not adhered, right? So we're going to have this one like that. Get our pot. Gonna take the pot looks like it needs a, a dimensional to me. Hmm. I think I want to put a dimension at the bottom of this pot because <laughs> it's hanging off and I I just feel like it needs a dimensional down there. Just like that. We're going to take our um, dimensionals off the back of our sentiment here. Ooh. And the glue dots off the back of this happy die cut. So this is a birthday card. It says happy birthday. That's what gave it away. <laughs> and this is just gonna go, oh, let's get that off of there. This is gonna go right over this, like so. And then this is gonna have the birthday going over this part. 
Okay, it's going to be going right over it like that. And that is the third card done. So let's move all of this stuff out of the way here and show you all three cards again. This is the 10 Years of Growth March 2023 Paper Pumpkin Kit from Stampin' Up. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.